so I just bought a level 70 character. To buy a level 70 character, you have to go into your options, go into the stores and market, and then you go into services. And then you go into knock the adventure. Everything that it says you get. So I made this character and then it asked me, do you want to use your token for to become a 70 character? And I confirmed yes. So I already automatically got a horse and all of the things were the stats, the feats, um, the character, um, the, they were all automatic, all the armor and everything were all automatic. And the, uh, it became a divine cleric, but you, I don't have to be a divine cleric if I don't want to, uh, you get all this and you can use a retaining token to actually change everything. It will, it's a, a one-time only thing and you can change every single stat of your character so you can make it your own but when you're a level when you choose the level 70 character you automatically get everything for level 70 and it's all random you get this as well you can switch with other accounts if you want to because it says account character means that it's specific for a character I think that the best thing about this is the runic bags because runic bags cost about 2000 for each bag or not 2000 but almost like almost 2000 so 1.600 for just one bag for a runic bag. So you'd save a little bit more money if you actually bought a level 70 character. And why I bought a level 70 character is I don't want to level up a, a cleric. They're a healer type. That is like the, the hardest type to actually level up. So I also got a trophy because I already had a level 70 character that I built. And um, I bought this one. So I got the, the trophy for two level 70s. And yeah, that's pretty much it.